Another one. Three on two. Point center. What a rip, Marcus. He does. Marcus Camby coming to play tonight. I mean, he... Marcus Camby is our big get. And by the way, at six foot eleven, you're the biggest big get we've ever had. Well, <laughs> welcome back to Denver, big guy. I appreciate that. Always good to be back here. 19 years you played in the NBA, six of them for the Nuggets. How important was it for you to be here tonight when that championship banner is raised? It was definitely important. Um, you know, I've been here through some tough times with the Nuggets, <laughs> and now yes. just to see uh, us to reach the pinnacle of winning the championship and having so many familiar friends on the team and like DeAndre Jordan. Yeah. You know, he was my rookie when I played with the Clippers and, okay. you know, Coach Malone, uh, you know, God bless his family. Uh, yeah. You know, Brendan was an assistant coach of mine okay. uh, in New York for a lot of years. And I know the family really well. So, I'm, you know, I'm real close to Mikey as well. So I'm happy for him as well. And Jamal Murray, you've got the Coach Calipari connection. Yes, you, yes. He played for the Kentucky for yes. Coach Cal. You, of course, are He played UMass. for Coach. So every time we see him, we always share uh, Coach Cal stories. Okay. <laughs> as far as being here, I mean, this is such a big night for the city of Denver. I think yes. people wondered if this day would ever come when there would be a championship banner. For you watching last season, how much fun was it for you to watch this team as they got closer and closer and finally reached that mountaintop? It was definitely great. Uh, you know, when I was here, we had some great teams. I had great teammates, you know, Carmelo Anthony, uh, sure. Allen Iverson, Kenyon Martin, Nene, J.R. Smith, but we were never able to give over the hump, you know, <laughs> out of the first round. But having to see this team and how they were put together by management and especially with the MVP and, and Jokic, who's been phenomenal. And yeah. just how, to see how everything just came together last year. Uh, and hopefully we can have a repeat performance this season. All right, you're a veteran. And I'm wondering, are there other former Nugget players you keep in touch with? And if so, what is the mood as you guys approach tonight? All the time. You know, I see Kmart all the time. Uh, I see Melo a lot when I'm in New York. And uh, we're all just excited for the franchise because we know what it was like when we were here and yeah. how it strong the fan base was and how they rallied behind not just the Nuggets but you know the Avs, the Broncos, all the sports teams we have here so yeah. for it to finally come to fruition man we're, as former Nuggets we're all extremely proud. I think fans here are hungry we've had two parades in consecutive years yes we, we know the starting fives back we know that Christian Brown's back we've got another a few free agents some rookies that, that may step in and fill the void are you confident this team has what it takes to maybe make another run? Maybe we do this again next year. I mean, I think we have the pieces. I mean, it's going to be hard. It's hard to repeat in the NBA. You know, you get lackluster a little bit considering that we already won it last year, so the hunger might not be there. But yeah. me knowing Coach Malone and, and, and knowing Popeye Jones, the assistant coach, who was a former teammate of mine when I was in Toronto, yeah. I know they're going to have these guys ready, and they're going to be looking forward to the upcoming season. All right, fans are going to want, they're going to, want to know, what is Marcus Canby up to? You, you retired, obviously. You still yes. look like you could play. Yes. <laughs> what is it you're doing these days to keep busy? All right, now I have a lot of things going on. I have my hand in a lot of different hats. Um, I just opened up a, a brewery at the University of Massachusetts. No kidding. Uh, yes. I have my own Marcus Canby IPA beer. Wow. But hopefully we're looking forward to bringing it out here in Colorado as well. <laughs> and um, I have a real estate investment um, business as well, a couple of barbershops, and I'm raising three girls. So wow. uh, that's probably my biggest challenge and my most prof not profitable, but my most cherishable uh, Thing I have going on right now is my girls. Sounds like you have your hands full. Really full. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about Starry. I know you're out here promoting this new drink. What? Give me a, a, a flavor for what it is and what it's about. Yeah, I mean, Starry, you know, is the official drink in the NBA now. Um, you know, they asked me to come out here to be a part of this, the festivities, and it was a no-brainer for me. Yeah. I was already coming out here to see the guys get the rings, and um, it went hand in hand. So I'm very thankful to be a part of this. Great turnout today. Yeah. I know the crowd's going to be live in for the game tonight, so I'm just excited about being here. Uh, last question for you. We know how rabid these fans are. What's it like to feel that energy, to walk inside Ball Arena and know that Nuggets Nation is just thrilled it's for great. what's going to take place? It's this so year? great. I remember the years of me coming here and seeing Miss Vicky when we're pulling up to the games with her signs out there. <laughs> okay. And like, I mean, she's the number one Nuggets fan, so I always look forward to seeing her when I came to the arena, but yeah. just having the energy of the crowd and the atmosphere and from long ago Nuggets fans to new Nuggets fans, we're all coming together to you know, commemorate and just have a great time.